Mm. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Lord, bless. Bless this thing. It's good, baby. I just don't. They always on such a high level, baby. I can't even determine what's better now. All I can do is eat it because it's so good. <laughs> My man loves that peach cobbler, y'all. <laughs>
we lost the burger. Flame Royal. I know. We lost it, babe. <laughs> like I don't know what I'm doing on this grill. What? What lady? Flip that one. No, not that one. I just flipped that one. Oh. It's my lady. Is your husband anything like my husband? He don't like you telling him how to grill. Cause my husband, y'all, he ain't that right, honey? We done decent in order. Look, y'all. Look at that burger. Look at that burger. Tell who lost it. I told them I lost it. Oh, okay. It was on me. <laughs> he just called me spatula queen. <laughs> so are you saying the grill is not for me? I ain't saying that, I'm just saying. What are you saying? I was working that thing. Oh, you were working it? I tried to. Oh, you, babe, you look kind of hot though. Look at them shoulders. <laughs> the smoke got you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> So go ahead and close it. Close it. Look, y'all. I appreciate it. Though. Look, y'all. He don't want me telling him nothing when it comes to grilling. I appreciate your assistance. <laughs> All right. So I guess I will go back to the. Let me flip this thing. I will go back to the kitchen because apparently, um, grilling is for Mr. Crocky. show you guys what I use for my seasoning. Now, I know this looks a bit overkill, but trust me, when the ribs come out of the, off the, off the grill, they're going to be absolutely delicious. So, first of all, I use, um, this is like the chicken uh, bouillon powder. This is what I use. I like to use Accent, which my mom used this, so I remember this from when I was a kid. Some barbecue seasoning garlic powder, onion powder, some mesquite seasoning, some meat tenderizer, some Lowry seasoned salt, and black pepper. So here are my baby fat ribs, and as you see, they've already been cleaned. So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply the seasonings to both sides. Bush's baked beans. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that, but this is my favorite baked beans to cook when I make baked beans during barbecues. And I have quite a few cans of those because we have people coming over. So I have all of the beans in the container. Those are a lot of beans, guys. Yes, they really are. So what I'm gonna use is a barbecue seasoning to season them, right? And then I'm gonna use um, my mesquite seasoning and then I'm also gonna add some ground cinnamon, guys. Ground cinnamon, so I'm just gonna get that all in there. Now, I know these baked beans already come with brown sugar, but I like to add my own um, bit of brown sugar as well. You can use the dark brown. I just had a little dark brown left over. Just put that 
that in there. There we go. Okay. So I got that in there. And then I'm gonna add some sausage, which are on the grill right now. As a matter of fact, let me show you that. Um, Kendrick took the sausage off of the grill. And so what I'm gonna do with the sausage, these are um, Andouille Cajun sausage. So I'm gonna cut them up, chop them in little pieces, and then I'm gonna put them in the baked beans. Okay, so I have the sausage here. So now I'm gonna just cut the sausage and I just wanna show you guys how I cut the sausage. They're still really hot. So, um, so I just cut it in half. Look, you can see the steam coming off of it. And then I flip it over. I probably should have waited till they cool, but I really want to get these beans in the oven. So, Ooh. Ooh. they are very hot. All right, and then these will go in our beans. I'm gonna go ahead and finish these, get these cut up, get them inside of the beans, and then I'm gonna mix them all up and I'll be right back. Okay, so almost an epic fail, but not quite an epic fail. As you can see, this container that I'm using for my beans is overflowing after I've cut the meat, got it all cut up. This is not gonna work because as soon as I put this in the oven, we're gonna have one dirty oven in a very smoky house. So. Kendrick went to the store and bought an aluminum tin. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna transfer what's in here into here. Now I'm just gonna mix all those contents together. So you got the brown sugar, you have the barbecue seasoning, the mesquite seasoning, the smoked sausage, all incorporated together. Oh, and let's not forget the cinnamon. Once I have everything mixed together, I'm gonna put it in the oven on 375 and let it cook for about 20 minutes. So, Kendra's gonna check out the ribs. Oh, look at that, y'all. Okay, look, y'all. They are looking beautiful. All right, so now I have the pasta for the macaroni and cheese. It's already been cooked. Find your pan of butter. And then. I used to um, cut up cheese and shred cheese and do all that crazy stuff. But when you're a mom and you're trying to get dinner done, you improvise. So now what I do is I use already pre-shredded cheeses and it works and tastes just as good. So I'm gonna do that next, so stand by. So I have the, um, the mixture already mixed up. I did not put this on camera, guys, because this is a secret family recipe. So, unfortunately, I can't share it. But <laughs> I will show you how it comes out. So, maybe if I get permission, I'll be able to share the family recipe for the mac baked macaroni and cheese. But as of right now, I can't. So, anyway, I have the mixture. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and just pour it in. Okay, so I'm just going to pour it all over. mix that all together. I hear you, baby girl. So the cheese I use, guys, like I mentioned before, I don't shred the cheese anymore like I used to. So I just go to Walmart and just get a two pound bag of Monterey, Monterey Jack and Kobe cheese, and that's it. And as you can see, it's already shredded. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add it. Now my family, we like a lot of cheese in our macaroni and cheese, so we don't spare any expense when it comes to cheese.
the ribs are done and I wanted you guys to get a good look at these ribs, guys. Look at that. Look at all those seasonings all over it, guys. It is so tender. I got a little piece of it already. It is so tender, guys. So tender. So juicy. We didn't leave it on the grill too long. It was perfect. All right. All right, guys. So the macaroni and cheese is out of the oven. And this is the finished product. Look at that, guys. Remember all of that cheese? Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. So I'm gonna let this sit and cool. And then we're gonna crack this sucker open. As a matter of fact, hang on, let me see something. Oh, look at that, y'all. Look at that. Look. Look at all that cheesy goodness. I know y'all see it. Oh my goodness. Okay. So dinner is done. Guests are here. Say hey to TJ, to everybody. Hello. <laughs> Y'all remember TJ, my oldest? All right, guys, so let's see what we got. We got some deviled eggs. We got some potato salad. We got the ribs. You see the ribs are almost gone already. We got hot dogs. There's the chicken. The hamburgers. The baked beans. Guys, they already started digging in. Hi! So for those of you who don't know, Trisha is TJ's girlfriend. Nice y'all remember I told y'all he went to Kansas for love? Well, here it is in the clutch right here, y'all. <laughs> Hi, Granny. So you want to say hello to everybody? Granny, are you ready to eat? Yes. <laughs> what do you want me to give you? You want, you want some macaroni and cheese? You want some ribs? Baked beans? All of it. <laughs> Sana is at work, so he doesn't get off until five o'clock. So when he gets off, we'll um, we'll go get him, and he'll enjoy this Memorial Day with us. As you can see here, Mr. Crockett has already dug in. He ain't messing around. All right, guys. How's the food, Judah? It's good. <laughs> Y'all, Judah is the chicken eater. How's the food, TJ? <laughs> Put me on guard. Hold on. Can you eat that part? <laughs> I can testify that it's very yummy. <laughs> You're welcome. You guys came with appetites. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. So I'll be honest, helping daddy do dishes, guys. Look at this cuteness. <laughs> Look at all this cuteness. Are you helping your dad? Y'all look, she's standing up and everything. Look at her, y'all. <laughs> no, 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 mama. <laughs> Don't eat the dishes. Oh my goodness, y'all. This is the life with the toddler. A little help. Say, so where did all the dishes go? <laughs> there she goes. There she goes. She's oh. coming. She's a coming. You gonna say hello? <laughs> you gonna say hello to everybody? <laughs> All right, guys, I'll be back in a minute.
chewed up. It's really sweet to the kitchen. To the kitchen. So our boys have chores. They get paid to do chores. They get a weekly allowance when they do their chores the right way. And if they don't do their chores the right way, they get deducted. So we have a full list of things that they have to do. And um, if it's not done, how much they get deducted from it. As a matter of fact, let me show you guys the list now. Break baby girls underneath me. All right, so let me show y'all this list that the boys have to do. All right, so they have a $20 monthly allowance. And on the list, as you can see, they have to clean their bedroom, clean the bathroom, clean the kitchen, and there's some miscellaneous work. There's deductions if they don't do what they're supposed to do. So there's deductions for certain things they don't do in their bedroom. There are deductions for things they don't do in the bathroom, the kitchen, and also the miscellaneous things. And um, these are expectations. So if they have an excuse, as to why they didn't do something, they get deducted for their excuse. So um, if they say things like, I was going to, that's a deduction. I thought I, that's a deduction. I can't, that's a deduction. <laughs> so they can't even use this negative verbiage. And it's not like, mommy, no, no. Kendrick and I are not being mean, but we just want our kids to know that there are no excuses for not doing what you're expected to do. Okay, so that's that's the um baby girl. Look at her, y'all. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, little girl? All right. So yes, no. So no excuses. And then there are some additional compensation. So if they wash the car, they get paid for that. If they mow the lawn, they get paid for that. Um, we're actually going to update this list because there are some other things that need to be added to the list and we may even increase their rate of pay um, once we've updated the list, but we'll see. So yeah, that's our kids' weekly allowance. Um, we tell them that this is not a requirement, this is a privilege. And what better way to get paid to do what you have to do anyway, but don't get it twisted. You can lose this pay. Um, so keep that in mind. So this is our way of teaching our kids responsibility. What's she doing? She's just looking at Judas and the she pops out. <laughs> Guys, this is Echo. This is Trisha and TJ's baby girl. She came all the way from Kansas. She's from Kansas. She's like, <laughs> She's hanging out outside. <laughs> Get it. There you go. <laughs> she says, Here, here, you can have it back. <laughs> daddy and his feelings, mama. You put daddy in his feelings. Oh, you guys about to play? Kendra's not watching the TV. You guys can go ahead. He's, he's like knocked out. Trisha, are you going to play? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, she beat me sometimes. Sometimes, she sometimes. <laughs> and you know I play avidly, so she can beat me. So let me tell you why these two are match made in heaven. This is one reason. They both love playing video games. <laughs> I'm talking about you, silly. Funny thing too is that she didn't like. Remember when she came? She visited that one time. Mm -hmm. After she went back, she bought an Xbox. Wow. So Trisha, I guess you figured you needed to buy you an Xbox so that you can be quite the competition. For yeah, you, huh? yeah, something like that. I wasn't competitive until no. I met him. He oh yeah, something. he is so competitive, and I don't know where he gets that from. I don't know, but they're the, like carbon yeah. copies of him when they play games. <laughs> you know what she said? What? I don't know where she gets that from. It's He's literally the copy. Big. I, you can kind of competitive with that Mario game, but <laughs> I am so competitive. Oh yeah, I heard about that. I'm very competitive. I'm like low key competitive. Yeah, until the game comes out. <laughs> okay, so I got Sana from work. He just got off work at um, five. So before we head back home, I need to stop here in Publix and get bluebell ice cream. So, you know, when I made that peach cobbler, we gotta have that bluebell 
homemade vanilla ice cream. We don't have any in the freezer, so I got to go up in here and get some. Oh, you work. No, no, no. Vanilla. I made peach cobbler. Y'all, he wants, he wants cookies and cream. That's the best. Cookies and cream is the best. You got some people wearing masks and some people not wearing masks. Please stand here. Look at that. Oh. Alright. Gotta get the good stuff, right? Yes. yes. I mean, I want the cookies and cream, but it's okay. Oh, man. You could have gotten cookies and cream. You, you just would have had to pull thing. out your own card. Well, I, I don't want to take it. You know what you got to watch for when they go by the end of the break? I know. That's, that's what my stepdad does. And then just stock up on your favorite flavor, but you got to get here early because they sell up quick. I believe People it. People are crazy over this week. I love Bluebell. Bluebell, I or believe Bluebell. that. Bluebell is amazing. Please, please, it's like my it. favorite. And it's so crazy because this is not a paid promotion. Okay, thank you. Guys, have a wonderful night. You too. Don't forget this. I know. Oh, no, 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 no. Y'all <laughs> look, she's trying to, y'all saw that? Bye. Bye. She's trying to take our ice cream after we paid for it. That's right. You saved the day, Sana. So now we're going to head home. Look, y'all. Should I let him in? 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 Fine. That's why you need to give me my own key. <laughs> so I can do that to you. Oh, oh, you would do that to me? Yeah. Really? You do it to me, I'm gonna do it to you. Do you know the consequences of doing that to me? You won't get in the car? <laughs> Alright guys, look at this cobbler. It is done. It is done. It has settled and it is ready to be cracked open. This has become one of our favorite desserts, guys. I try to find every excuse to make this peach cobbler. Um, if you are interested in knowing how I made this peach cobbler, I do have a video on it. Um, it's a live stream video, but I'm also, I've also um, did a pre-recorded video that I am going to um, upload this week. So you can refer either to the live stream video that I did when I actually made Peach Cobbler live and in color, or you can wait for me to upload the pre-recorded video of the step-by-step -step of me making this Peach Cobbler. But guys, let me tell you something. This is absolutely delicious, and I use frozen peaches to make it frozen peaches all right guys does it taste better than the last batch i made i can't say that but it tastes worse no I just don't. They always on such a high level, baby. I can't even determine what's better or not. All I can do is eat it because it's so good. <laughs> My man loves his peach cobbler, y'all. Hey, be careful where you're standing. I want your phone. Love y'all. <laughs> so I have this thing where I like to how can I put this massage my husband's ears it's kind of like a anxiety relief for me and he doesn't let me do it he doesn't like me watch out uh, <laughs>
He don't like me. Yeah. Obviously, he Jackie says me. hello. He does not let me relieve my anxiety by playing with his ears. Look at him, y'all. Find another anxiety to relieve my anxiety. Yes. And my mom told him when we went to go visit her in prison. My mom told him, "Let let Lena play with your ears." Right. So, mom, when you watch this, I want to let you know that your son-in-law did not abide by what you told him. But look, mom, look how he do me. <laughs> he don't let me do it. But let his little girl grab a hold of them ears. Let her grab a hold of them ears. I get two seconds. <laughs> he gives her 10 seconds. I get 0 0.1 seconds. I get stopped before I even get started. So right now we're just chilling. Our bellies are full. Um, TJ and Trisha just left to take Granny back home because, like I told y'all, Granny will eat and she be ready to go, y'all. So now, um, the boys are about to play video games. So Kendrick and Judah, Kendrick and Judah are very competitive. Are very competitive when it comes to the video game play. I'll be honest, she wants to play. Dad, dad. You wanna play, mama? Why you messing with my knee then? <laughs> I ain't trying to eat my knee. I don't know what this girl did in the kitchen. I'ma put, this like a little puddle of water. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, look, I thought she threw up for a second, but she didn't. Mm -hmm. I think she spit it out. I think. If she threw it up, it was just plain water. Couldn't it be, because she don't drink water. You wanna say some you wanna say something to the people? Huh? You wanna say something to the people? Help. I'm being attacked. What I mean? Go back. Hello? Yeah, I guess. That's my eyelash, girl. I'll be on the Brienne Crockett. Little girl. I'm getting beat up by my baby. She done pulled my earrings out. Stop. <laughs> Aviana, be nice. Love. 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 Oh, you think that's funny? Love. Love. People be young. He is young. All right. I'll see you guys later.